I'm Tom Murray. In the news today, two people were killed in an early morning crash near Sherman and Glendale. Two women in their 20s died. The driver of the other car is not injured, but he was taken to custody. Police say he appears to have been intoxicated. Police also investigating a car hitting a pizza place in Greenfield. This was the scene early this morning at Balsbury Brothers Pizza near Highway 100 in Beloit. No word yet on injuries. The Kenosha County Sheriff's Office is busy this week at investigating cases of animal abuse on two different farms. The farms are near Highway 75 and 11 in the town of Brighton. 30 steers were found dead on one farm and 51 on the other. Both farms are owned by a father and son. The Kenosha County Sheriff says the animals who survived are malnourished and dehydrated. The sheriff is now taking care of them on his own farm. Brewers relief pitcher Will Smith will get to stay in the game, at least for now. The MLB suspended him for eight games for cheating on Thursday night. But Smith will get to keep playing while the league considers his appeal. The Brewers played the Braves again this afternoon. A gift from the city this Memorial Day weekend. There will not be any parking meter patrols on Monday and no overnight parking enforcement tomorrow through Tuesday. There also will not be any garbage or recycling pickup on Monday. And get ready Monday for a celebration in Milwaukee. It is the 150th annual Memorial Day Parade. It starts at 2 o'clock at 4th and Wisconsin and travels to the War Memorial. There will be a wreath-laying ceremony at the memorial. A Walker's Point staple is shutting down National Avenue. Today and tomorrow, Stenny's is hosting a block party from 2 until midnight to celebrate its 30th anniversary. They promise live music, food, and local neighborhood vendors, as well as special beer from Milwaukee Brewing. Well, as far as this whole holiday weekend, today's probably going to be the best of all three days because we're not going to have any chances of rain. And our temperature, especially away from the lake today, is not going to be bad at all. We're going well into the 70s there without much in the way of humidity. Now, it looks like today we're going to get above the average high, even in Milwaukee, though it will cool down at times because we are going to have a bit of a lake breeze that starts to develop as the day goes on. Average 67. Yesterday, we could only muster 57. I cannot say it is the coolest temperature on this map because you've got North Platte, Nebraska, 53 degrees. But either way, if you look around us, you've got lots of upper 70s. And upper 70s will be the rule today away from the lake. But if you live right next to Lake Michigan, you're probably going to be cooling down. So just be aware of that as we head through the day. But you don't have to worry about rain and you don't have to worry about humidity either. We've got dew points in the 40s and 30s. Doesn't get much more comfortable than that when you have temperatures in the 60s and 70s. And slowly as the weekend goes on, we're going to bring up the humidity just a little bit, but it's nothing that you can't handle. Looks like uh, dew points in the mid to upper 50s by Monday. That's Monday, though. And even that isn't that bad. It's when you have the dew points going well into the 60s. That's where you really start to notice things. Now let's take a look at future forecast heading through the day today. Plenty of sunshine, just a couple passing clouds at time as we head through the afternoon. But notice staying completely dry. If you have evening grilling plans, staying completely dry again. Now as we head through the overnight, real slim threat of a sprinkle. Notice tomorrow morning. It looks like we're going to start things off on the dry side, which is fine. So we're not going to have an all day rain as we head through the day. You start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms start to develop. And those are going to be on and off as we head through Sunday night. Monday morning, you're seeing a couple more of these scattered showers to start and then slowly those move out. Then we actually might see a little bit of sunshine as the day goes on on Monday. So here's a look at today a little bit closer and going into the afternoon completely fine. It's going to be a really nice day. But again, if you live by Lake Michigan, a little bit of a lake breeze going to develop a little bit of an easterly component to the wind, but not a strong wind whatsoever. As we head into the nighttime tonight, you can see still some dry air out here and uh, going into Sunday. There's the morning. We start off with a little bit of sunshine, but plenty of clouds start to filter in. And there are those scattered showers and thunderstorms going Sunday afternoon. They start to develop here and there around the area going into Sunday night. And Monday, you start off with a couple of these scattered showers and eventually they start to move on out as the day goes on the way it looks right now. So the rest of your day today going to be a beauty probably the best day of the whole weekend. 71 at the lake, 77 inland. For tonight, maybe a stray sprinkle late, but most of your night going to be fine. And tomorrow, some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm developing as the day goes on. That would mainly be in the afternoon. Those will be hit and miss as we go into uh, Sunday night. And as far as Monday is concerned, it is going to be windy out there and could start off with a couple scattered showers and thunderstorms. So not a complete wash this weekend, but the chance of rain increase on Sunday afternoon and Sunday night.